This video teaches why your Dometic or Norcold cooling unit needs to have thermal protection on its boiler. Neither Dometic nor Norcold have boiler safety protection that prevents the fridge from failing, which leads to the number two cause of RV fires. Please note that at the top of the curves are marked zones one, two, and three. The dashed lines separate the zones. In zone one, we operate the fridge perfectly level. This would be normal operation. Zone two, we tilt the fridge. And then in zone three, we return the fridge to normal operation. Notice in the lower left corner, the fridge heat source is started. The yellow curve measures the boiler temperature. The boiler temperature rises to a peak and then drops due to the boiler pump starting to pump refrigerant. The temperature briefly drops and then maintains steady state. Steady state boiler temperature is when the fridge is operating correctly and the fridge is completing its cycle. All fluids are circulating properly. The fridge is cooling properly. The sensor in the refrigerator cabinet turns off the heat to the boiler and then the sensor calls for cooling again. Zone 1 shows two normal cycles of the cooling unit boiler starting and stopping. Now we introduce the pressure curve in blue. We measure the boiler temperature and cooling unit pressure simultaneously. For simplicity, we introduce the curves one at a time. Note that when the boiler temperature rises, the pressure within the cooling unit rises also. Now we introduce the water boiling point curve in red. If the yellow boiler temperature curve rises until it hits the boiling point of water curve, the water within the boiler will change from liquid to steam. Damage to the cooling unit results, the refrigerator is no longer refrigerating, your food is spoiling, and the fridge is dying. This is a fact of science based on the equation of state, PV equals NRT. The purple curve is the fridge to fin set point. The yellow boiler temperature curve rises until it hits the purple set point line. The boiler pump has ceased, the flow of refrigerant has stopped, and further heat input damages the fridge. At the transition between zone 1 and 2, we tilt the fridge at 3 degrees off level. Observe how fast the yellow boiler temperature curve rises from the steady state boiler temperature. When the purple set point and yellow boiler temperature curves meet, the fridge to fin turns off the heat source to protect the fridge. With the fridge remaining off level, the fridge to fin detects boiler overheating six times and automatically restarts the refrigerator in an attempt to cool the fridge. Next we show the cooling unit pressure along with the boiling point of water curves. Please take note of the boiler temperature rising with each successive fridge to fin overheat protection event. By the sixth time that the fridge to fin takes action to protect the fridge, Observe that the boiler temperature has not risen to the boiling point of the water in the cooling unit. This confirms that the fridge to fend has protected this RV fridge from premature failure. After the sixth time the fridge to fend turns off the heat source, the fridge to fend is reset, and the fridge is leveled to resume normal operation. Please take note that after the boiler is allowed to cool, the fridge is restarted. The blue cooling unit pressure curve immediately starts climbing. Cooling unit pressure increases due to the ammonia vapor pressure. This event confirms the fact that the fridge to fin allowed the boiler pump to restart successfully. Turning to the yellow boiler curve, the temperature rises until the pump fully resumes production of ammonia refrigerant. At this point, the boiler temperature drops to its normal steady state value. No damage has occurred to the cooling unit based on the fact that the water in the system never boiled and boiler pump resumed normal operation, which is evidenced by the steady state boiler temperature. One may ask, what would happen if the boiler temperature was allowed to rise to the point that the water boiled in the cooling unit? This is a scan of an RV refrigerator boiler that was allowed to overheat. You are viewing the rust pit that ruptured the boiler. When the contents of the cooling unit came out, there were major problems. The first problem is that the overheating of the boiler destroys the refrigerator. The second is that a dangerous fire resulted from this rupture. All temperatures in this video were recorded using the fridge to fin. The fridge to fin is patented. The fridge to fin is the only way to protect your Dometic or Norcold RV fridge from failure and resulting danger to life and property. Please visit www.arprv.com.